child what is up today i'm here with a new video <laughs> can you see how much i'm pretending that i have the energy to do it uh -uh. because i spent the first six months of this year doing absolutely nothing the other half has become a very productive one for me and a very focused one. I'm learning a lot about habit formation and productivity and all of that stuff and you will definitely get a feel of that team here on this channel. But I'm also human and besides trying to be a productivity beast all days long, I also travel from time to time. I just came back, no I'm lying, I came back from my vacation like three weeks ago and I still haven't unpacked. Uh, <laughs> Am, am I relatable now? This would make me feel better. I came up with a set of rules to maintain my healthy habits while I'm there because I've spent some time building that foundation for myself and I didn't want any outside force to break them for me. These are the rules I came up with, the rules, tips, whatever you want to call them, that have really helped me while I was traveling. First of all, look at your life and ask yourself what health-related habits are you actually building and are you building the right ones? Because so often we focus on mediocre things so small that they don't even Matter, and we neglect the big things that actually matter and can make a change in our lives. And there is this foundation of well-being, as I like to call it. And I think it contains every habit that is absolutely crucial for your overall well-being. Without those things, your body just can't function properly. No matter what everybody else is doing, these things are not optional. And the more you focus on them, the more you have the energy to do other things in your life and to actually be successful. I think you probably already have an idea of what that foundation is and that is eating and drinking healthy getting enough sleep and moving your body every single day it's just as it is and trying to go around it just simply stupid because it will backfire at some point it will i'm talking from personal experience and those three habits i think are the most important ones to carry on with you in your carry-on there are so many temptations all around us. We feel like it's only a week that I'm traveling. I will get back to it when I'm back home. It would be awesome if that would be that easy to get back to when you're back home. If you don't have that problem, do whatever you want. I mean, go and live the life. But the majority of us doesn't have that privilege. Breaking the chain of good habits can potentially cause breaking them all together or taking way too long to get back to that thing you were already doing. So it's just ultimately not worth it to drop a good habit completely for a week or two weeks or however long you're traveling. It's just not worth it. But here's a trick that you're gonna like so much. It's important to show up every single day for a habit that you're building, but the input is not as important. Let me explain that. So let's start with eating because this is a huge think i already made a video on eating on binge eating actually last week kind of like dipped my toes in this topic but it's so huge and i would love to tell you so much more about what i have learned but let's take vacation here while you're traveling you may want to try all sorts of different foods if you're visiting some new country that you've never been to before even if it's not a new country you want to eat that pizza you want to have that cocktail you want to chill a little and that's absolutely okay but to maintain a habit of eating healthy and not struggle as as much when you come back home you need to set some rules for yourself while you're traveling those rules may be more or less serious depending on how fragile that habit is in your life so far you probably already know whether breaking the chain will make you drop the habit when you come back home if you can trust your ability to get back on track when you're back home awesome do whatever you want as i said but if you don't you have to set some rules for yourself and make them actionable but make them also so that you show up every single day for that healthy eating habit. Pick a thing or two things and stick to them throughout your travel. Before going to Croatia, I quit eating processed sugars, but I've set a rule for myself that if I feel like eating ice cream, I can eat ice cream. The thing was that I didn't want to eat junk food, sweets and snacks, all of that stuff that I was indulging in before but before going to croatia i said hmm, i want to live a little so i decided that i can eat ice cream if i want to eat ice cream and you know what i don't feel bad about it because i've set the rules beforehand and that's a major thing i want you to remember from this video that if you make decisions on the spot then you're gonna be miserable you're gonna feel bad about them afterwards when you make decision on the spot that is not aligned with a bigger picture you will feel like you lost control and when we feel we screwed up then we feel like we need to screw up even more we're crazy like that if you feel guilty about eating a piece of cake then you will try to make yourself feel better 
by eating an entire pizza by yourself. We have to respect how we are and trick ourselves into doing the things that we want to do. If you set a rules like I will eat a healthy breakfast and then I will have whatever I feel like for dinner, it's okay. You set a rule, you're doing it, you're in control. You can even write those statements down and you can make them in a form of if this, then that. If someone offers me a cookie, then I'm gonna say no, thank you. And you are prepared and you will not break on the spot. When we lose control, that's when all hell breaks loose and we don't want that, we don't need that kind of drama in our lives. Next thing I'd like to talk about is sleep and we are a sleep deprived generation, we all know that. Traveling can take that sleep away from you. There is no real solution for that other than planning to get that sleep back when you come home and then to really nurture a habit of getting enough sleep because it's so freaking important unless you're traveling for rest and rest as much as you feel like. And the last habit that is moving your body. Here, same rules apply. It's more important to show up every single day, even if it's just for 10 minutes, than to drop the habit completely and then struggle when you come back home. It doesn't even matter what kind of workout you're doing. You can go on a walk, you can go on a run, you can go on a hike, you can rent bikes, or you can go swimming, that's a big thing. <laughs> Do it with a mindset, I'm now moving my body, so that your brain knows that this is the activity you have chosen. You have to be conscious about it for it to actually work. It can be an hour if you like it, or it can be 15 minutes. The most important thing is to show up because the habit of the habit is more important than the habit itself. That being said, I don't know if you knew that, but we are all supposed to make like 10K steps every single day. That's also not optional. So no, it doesn't mean that if you go on a walk, you can eat that extra piece of cake. No, it, it doesn't work like that. This counts as moving your body. So if you can incorporate walks into your traveling experience, that's awesome. If you're sightseeing, you probably make a lot of steps already. Most phones do track how many steps you make and we almost always have our phones on us. So go and check how many steps you're making because I was surprised. I thought I was making way more than I was actually making. And then hopefully you're gonna take that habit with you when you come back home. If you have any other habits not health related that you're trying to build, you want to make sure that you maintain them throughout your traveling, same rules apply. Show up every single day, even if it's just for five minutes. Just don't let yourself break the chain. Even if it's just showing up for five minutes, show up every single day, however you are, wherever you are, and just do the thing for five minutes. Last but not least, I want to talk about screw ups because they may happen. And the thing is that <laughs> I just used the word screw ups, but we have to stop looking at screw ups as screw ups because when we see something as a screw up, then we want to feel better. And then usually we indulge in something that's even a bigger screw up. And the more guilt is there, the less motivation there is. That's not a way of achieving your goals. Although it's something, it seems like it, but it's, it's fake. Don't trust that voice that tells you that. When we break the chain and do something that is forbidden, have this feeling like nothing else matters, I can do whatever I want, because when tomorrow kicks in, I will have to be all good again. And that is a very sick thinking, if you think about it. That is a thinking of not willing to be healthy, of not willing to make good decisions. That is the feeling of, I don't know, trying to gain something, but it doesn't really give you any gain other than weight gain. <laughs> I didn't see that coming, but that was good. This is us trying to be smart when in all actuality, it's just stupid because we try to sabotage ourselves. So if a screw up happens to you, I would suggest instead of looking at your life in terms of today where I screw up and the magical tomorrow when all is right again, look at your day in terms of segments. So there is morning, midday, afternoon, and evening. And if you screwed up in afternoon, you have an entire evening to make up for it. That's a little mind trick, obviously, but the results are awesome. That all being said, we are all adults who are skilled enough to make an exception when you want to make an exception. But as I said multiple times in this video, it's better to plan beforehand so that you're prepared and that you remain your sense of control over the situation and that you don't have any unplanned screw ups. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know. I love you more than I love coffee and I see you guys soon. And life is a story, so make it a good one. Bye guys. Yeah.